Jim has so many qualities. You know, he's tenacious, he perseveres, he listens, he's, you know, he definitely is in it for the long haul. Jim has a social worker's heart and he has the visionary's commitment to mission. The mission statement of Youth in Need is enabling children to live up to their potential. And that is uh, something that Jim cares deeply about. How he is professionally is how he is personally. Um, he, he walks the walk and talks the talk. I think Jim's been successful growing and developing Youth in Need because he really cares about what he's doing. The success of Youth in Need has been such a tremendous team effort. I mean, I think what I've done is stayed steady during you know, rough spots and provided direction of what we could do more, what we could do different, how we could improve things. He listens and, and he really empowers others to, to make the right decision for, for youth in need. Just because you may have come to a decision doesn't mean that he's not still thinking about how can we improve this, what, is there a better way to implement it. Um, he just, his mind does not stop. There is a relentlessness that comes from his own understanding that he can always get better. You know, there's always a kind of a better way, you can get more people, do more good. I, I just don't think final product is in his vocabulary. You know, he's not looking at where youth in need is today so much as where it needs to be three to five years from now. And, and how does he influence policy? How does he influence the community and get the right people uh, to help him in, in that effort? Jim is very good on praising the individuals that work for him and giving the praise truly to individuals who are doing the work. I think he's been able to accomplish many great things, and he doesn't personally take much credit for it, um, for the things that he's accomplished. I, I think that's particularly true of youth in need. I think successful organizations need to stay focused on what their mission is, and we've done that. And I think it takes people checking their egos at the door. I mean, people need to to do this because of it's important, and that, you know, the, the, the glory they get individually. His impact has, has been on many, many kids and, and actually other, other organizations in the region uh, who, who serve kids um, because Youth in Need has expanded its services so greatly. The community respects the decisions that he makes. Um, there's very little question because there's an understanding that, that he's done it with an authentic mind that's really in the best interests of kids. There, there are a number of times when we had to uh, take our case in front of the, the government leaders of our community, whether that was the county or the city, and um, at one point says, you know, I feel kind of like the social work mafia. I always kind of thought of him as the Don of, uh, of the social work mafia family. I think his retirement holds probably a lot of work. Again, I don't think his definition of retirement is comparable to lots of people's. After I retire, I am going to stay active on a part-time basis, uh, do some nonprofit consulting, and uh, some volunteering with Youth in Need, my favorite charity, uh, and spend a lot more time uh, with my wife visiting grandkids, and uh, spend a little more time at home. I don't know that he's going to retire from youth in need and go on the senior golf tour. Okay, I think we're safe in that. I, I did play golf with him uh, once, many, many years ago in the youth in need golf outing. Um, and after that, I always made sure that I arranged a foursome and didn't have to include Jim in my foursomes. <laughs> I really have been fortunate to have landed in this career because uh, I really don't question day to day if I'm making a difference. And, and quite honestly, it's the reason I want to continue doing some part-time work in, in retirement is that I feel like I still can't contribute things. And I'll, well, I'll be doing some volunteer work with youth in need behind the scenes. But uh, it's been a tremendous privilege to, uh, to be in this role at youth in need for, for 24 years. Tremendous.